The film starts on an ocean side during a hazy day. A lady is contemplating while she is having tea on the yard of her home. She is in a high-level condition of pregnancy. She realizes that the dad of her youngster won't return. However, she believes that maybe her unborn kid was the main thing she really wanted from him. She grins forebodingly and starts to think back about the occasions paving the way to that second. A romantic tale is then distinguished between two kids, Rebecca and Tommy, who swear each other everlasting affection. At the point when Rebecca leaves unexpectedly for Japan with her mom, the two are isolated. After 12 years, Rebecca returns as a young lady to track down that Tommy recollects her, yet focuses profoundly on her. The two start another relationship. Tommy is a political extremist battling against the biotech partnerships, who intend to open another regular park populated by creatures falsely made by cloning. Tommy plans to ruin the initiation function by setting free backpacks loaded up with cockroaches. Rebecca, herself a software engineer of break location sonar programming for underground capacity holders, demands going with Tommy. Heading to the site of the new regular park through a desolate wild, Rebecca requests that Tommy stop the vehicle so she can let herself along the edge free from the street. Interim, Tommy leaves the vehicle and is struck and killed unexpectedly by a passing vehicle. Rebecca and Tommy's folks are blasted with melancholy. Rebecca needs to utilize new logical headways to have Tommy cloned and along these lines resurrect him. She offers to be impregnated utilizing Tommy's DNA. However Tommy's mom protests. His dad consents to give Rebecca Tommy's cell material, yet encourages her to thoroughly consider her choice cautiously prior to continuing. Rebecca, notwithstanding, proceeds and imagines Tommy's clone in her belly. She visits unique Tommy's grave while pregnant with his clone prior to conceiving an offspring by Caesarean area. Tommy is currently brought up as Rebecca's child, and the two have a cozy relationship. Rebecca presents to him a Pleo, a fake living creature made utilizing new biotechnology. Tommy and his close friends notice a local young lady and attempt to decide whether she has a duplicate smell as the young lady is a clone. The local moms show bias against duplicates anticipating that Rebecca should not allow Tommy to connect with them. Rebecca, however sickened, concurs altogether not to confine her child. In the end bits of hearsay about Tommy spread, and Tommy is compelled to commend his birthday alone with his mom, his close friends all being banished from going to buy their moms. Rebecca moves to a more far-off area with Tommy. Tommy starts to pose inquiries about his dad, needing to know how his dad kicked the bucket, he covers the pleo his mom gave him for his birthday while out playing with his companion. His mom finds out and gives him back the pleo, which is currently done working. Years after the fact, Tommy has become however old as his unique seemed to be the point at which he kicked the bucket. Subsequently, he begins to show specific character attributes and interests of the first Tommy like his inclinations in science. He is presently the grown-up child of still young Rebecca, at the point when Tommy brings a sweetheart. Monica, home to remain with them Rebecca acts enviously, to both Tommy's and Monica's bewilderment. Tommy battles with what seems, by all accounts, to be sexual strain among himself and his mom. The first Tommy's mom, presently an elderly person, shows up suddenly and gazes quietly at Tommy, who feels he perceives the outsider. Terrified and baffled by Rebecca's absence of clarification, Tommy attacks Rebecca, overlooking Monica, who rapidly withdraws. A furious Tommy requests replies from his mom, Rebecca, who gives him Tommy's unique old PC with photographs of him and his unique mother and father the initial ones he met previously. Tommy tosses his mom on the bed in disarray and asks her what his identity is and for what reason she did what she did. The sexual strain rises and the two of them wind up having intercourse. From the blood on Rebecca's hand, it is suggested that Tommy took her virginity from her all the while. Rebecca grins toward the end. She has satisfied the genuine objective of it. The following day, Tommy packs his things, then tends to Rebecca by her most memorable name and not mother and says thanks to her for the existence he's had. As yet appreciating what happened the other day, Rebecca doesn't do anything as Tommy leaves. The pregnant Rebecca, from the primary scene of the film, is on clone Tommy's tape.